and welcome back to the channel, folks. Welcome to another Saturday short. This one may be a little long. We're not quite sure yet. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I encourage you, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so you know when the next video pops up. And before you leave, drop a comment. Um, if you're a regular to the channel, welcome back. Glad you're here. Again, smash that like button. And before you leave, drop a comment uh, down below. Um, at the time of, time of recording, we're at 134 subscribers. Woo hoo 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 hoo! 66 away from 200. So 200 by the time Kenobi drops, which has now been moved to May 27th. So by May 27th, 200 subscribers will do something. Not quite sure what yet, but we'll figure that ad out. Okay. Um, for today's topic, something that's been in my craw for a little bit, actually for quite some time now. Um, and finally just kind of came to, to a head. Um, as you can see by the thumbnail, we're talking about something about sports. And I'm sure someone like, but Joker voice, you're about pop culture, movies, cartoons, Star Wars. Sports influences Ultra 2, folks. So this is definitely something that is a timely to topic. And as you can see, this is the head coach of the San Antonio Spurs, Greg Popovich, and his assistant, Becky Hammond. Now, Becky Hammond is now the, has been announced as the head coach of the Las Vegas Aces of the WNBA, formerly the San Antonio Silver Stars. Someone who lives in Las Vegas, this is something that affects my immediate town, so just allow me a little to talk about this. Um... So, Becky ha Hammond started her career in June of 1999, starting off with the New York Liber Liberty. And she was then traded to the San Antonio Silver Stars in April of 07. And she retired in 2014 due to a ruptured ACL. I, I believe that was the... In injury well something for fortuitous came to her since she was in san antonio part of her rehab she's in and around the gym and whatnot and the san antonio spurs would have their practices and to whatnot and she'd be do doing her rehab and she just knows knowing the players would be talking to players and the coaches and greg popovich would sometimes ask for her opinion he liked what he heard and in 2014, Becky Hammond was the second female to be hired as a full-time NBA assistant coach. Very cool. In 2015, Becky Hammond took the summer league team, that, that, that is rookies and second-year players, to a tournament during the summer here in Las Vegas. And they won the entire tournament. Okay. Okay. All of a sudden, we start hearing some buzz that maybe Becky Hammond could be the first female to be an NBA head coach. That would be really cool. As something as someone who has earned it, and sports being the ultimate merit-based, we thought merit-based um, business. You earn your spot. You get you get the spot because you've earned it. Then in 2016, she became the first woman to be on the coaching staff of an all-star team. Very cool. In de December of December 30th of 2020, Greg Popovich got ejected from a game against the Los Angeles Lakers. Becky Hammond became the first female to head coach in an NBA game. Now, generally what this means is if a coach is getting ready to start thinking about retirement, whatever, they will get themselves ejected to let their protege take o over. Well, then some things happened. Now, full disclosure here, I am not a WNBA fan. I'm not. I think the product has been less than stellar and I have not 
watched the WNBA's. I've not watched the WNBA game since about 2008, when uh, Tennessee standout Candace Parker joined joined the league as a member of the LA Sparks. Now, I say this because Becky Hammond on December 31st, 2021, just recently, was announced to be a head coach of the Las Vegas Aces, a WNBA team. Now, this, I feel, is a real slap in the face to Coach Hammond. For the simple fact that the WNBA just doesn't put out a good product and they have not been profitable. The WNBA is about 25 years old and for about 22 straight years, they've operated at about a $10 million deficit that the NBA subsidizes. They keep the league afloat. Now, what really ticked me off about the hiring of Becky Hammond for the Las Vegas Aces as a member of the WNBA is she was also in line to be, she was being interviewed to be the head coach of the Portland Trailblazers. Okay. Opportunity. Very cool. She's, she's earned her spot. She's got a resume here. The Portland Trailblazers went with L.A. Clipper assistant coach Chauncey Billups. Now, Chauncey Billups is a former NBA player, played for the Detroit Pistons. No disrespect. He's a former NBA champion. Cool. He was the assistant coach to Tyron Lue, who won an NBA championship when he was the head coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cleveland Cavaliers team with LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, and Kevin Love. Probably one of the best all-around teams in the league at, at that time. We can go into, that's a whole another topic, was did Tyrone Lue really do a whole lot of coaching there? But they went with Chauncey Billups, and part of the reason why they gave Becky was, well... You have no head coaching experience. Well, neither does Chauncey. Well, you know, Chauncey worked for a NBA championship coach. Well, so has so has Be- Eki Hammond. Tyrone Lue has one. Greg Popovich has five. So... This is a huge, in my opinion, this is a huge slap in the face to her. This is an insult. This is a step down for her. And personally, I want Becky to take her five-year deal and destroy this league. Because as it stands right now, the Portland Trailblazers are have a record of 27 wins versus 49 losses. They are 35 games behind the top team in the Western Conference. You mean to tell me that when you picked Chauncey Billups, you thought Becky Hammond would do worse than this right now? Now, this has drawn some attention. As a bartender here in Las Vegas, I meet a lot of people, and... I've met some people uh, front office of the Las Vegas Aces and we had a chat and I talked about how I think the game's not very good. They have challenged me. I'm going to be going to a Las Vegas Aces game as a guest and I will be doing a follow-up video based on what I, based on my experience. And hopefully, coach, I know you're watching. I want to have this conversation with you and just impart my feelings of I want you to succeed so badly I want you to destroy this league and to destroy the WNBA hold take no print isners and every win you get I, I'm, I'm talking like multiple championships in your five year 
contract run here and just give a big middle finger to the NBA. Because you got done wrong. But anyway, that's my take. Thank you for letting me rant and get this off my chest. I we will be I will be on Sunday. Comics and Cosmetics. I'll be there with Danny and Luna Girl. They're part of the Red 5 Network. We're going to be talking about Moon Knight. Obviously, we watch two different shows based on what I've already heard. So, I will see you then, and I will be uh, Wednesday for episode two of Moon Knight. We'll see if it gets better. But in the meantime, have a great rest of your weekend, guys. Always have fun. Hashtag keep talking. And always... Keep that smile on your face. <laughs> Toodles!